What is up, everybody? <laughs> Take two. Oh, man. All right, good morning, everybody. What is up? Welcome back to another video. I'm Tucker. And I'm Sammy J. We are in one of the richest beach towns in our state. And we're going to be seeing what we can find today in the roadside trash. Let's see what kind of treasures we can find. Let the treasure hunt begin. Yes, that is exactly what I was supposed to say. This intro was so difficult. Let's just get into this and find these treasures. <laughs> All right, so I just pulled over right here on the first street we pulled down and there's already just trash everywhere, gold everywhere. Paving the streets. Paving the streets, look at this. So this is the perfect time of year to hunt down epic trash picks. And here we are. This looks like it got, this thing's cool. I'm taking that. Metal. This is what I was trying to say before. Ooh. There was other stuff in the trash that people were saying we should have got. Where we live gets flooded. This was obviously on a ground floor. The other painting before had this all on the bottom. Hard to see, but see this would be you know, a print, beach reflections, probably worth money, but it's totally destroyed. So you don't want to be dealing with that kind of mold. This is looking like a, oh, well look at the house it came out of. Yeah. So no one lives in there, I'm assuming. Uh, no one living. No one living. That's for sure. These are decent. You could use those for a day if you wanted to. I do think that from the looks of it, someone did go through this already. Like yeah. Like a raccoon, right? A little bit of scrap here. Fan. It's not bad. All right, moving on. Nothing good in there. Get the real treasure. Welcome to our channel. We're Tucker and Sammy J, a young couple from a sleepy coastal town called Summers Point. Located directly across the bay from some of the richest beach towns in the country. Every summer, millions of people flock to the New Jersey coast to enjoy the sun and sandy beaches. And with them, they bring the excess of American culture, which many times ends up in the garbage. This series follows us as we drive from beach town to beach town, salvaging roadside treasures for profit. And the best part is, we never know what we'll find next. Very monkey. <laughs> People are just putting stuff out. Not that that was good, but putting stuff out as we speak. The streets are paved. Paved. For real, right? It's not even spring cleaning. It's like end of summer cleaning, like summer's. Going down. All right, what did you just spot out? A nice cooler, but it looks clean from the truck. But my sight's not that good, so. We're gonna have to inspect it. Gucci here to... All right. First, uh, well, we got that little bunny thing, but first official find here today. Cooler. Ooh. Spotless. And it has, oh my gosh. Wow. This is a beach cooler. Dude. That wow. is wild that they just threw that out. I thought, like opening it, you were gonna be just dis disgusted. Yeah. It's the cleanest cooler I ever seen in the trash. What's this for? To make it stay up straight. Oh, so you can lean it. Yeah, and it doesn't fall every time you oh, set it down. Yeah, this is it. But then you oh, gotta then you to put it back up, off. and then it goes down this way. Oh. Perfect. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful, and I'm not talking about the core. Okay, that didn't stay up. That didn't stay up. Okay. We're popping it in. First, first actual score of the day. Cooler, easy twenty bucks. All right, we got a rug. Sammy's gonna have to do the smell check on this one. <laughs> I'm sad. Not sad. I can just look at it. Nope. Not good, right? Not good. It's got like crust on it. This is cool though. It was. 
It like spins around with little birds on it. These were actually like not rusty, and so if I could pick them up for someone like Paul. Brand new toilet seat. Brand new. Looks like it. Oh, it's not in plastic. That's not That's bad. Nice. This one not now, is it? Should I grab the toilet seat or Small not? <laughs> For real, right? That would be sad if you just did that. I was, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about licking it to see if it had any residuals. That's the real, that's the real check right there. This one's nothing, right? No. Moving along. It's actually like, I think I have like PTSD from those like rusted out shells. Metal shells. What is it? An oriental rug? Nah. -uh. Is it? Yeah. Two massive rugs. Alright, might have to just. Should I just pop that in here? check them out first, and then I'll spin around if they're gold? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Two big rugs. You know it's Sammy's time to shine. This is the bottom. Oh. Right? Oh, yeah. Damn, you'd really have to unscroll these to really see because they got stains all on them. I don't know. Does this teeth work? That is one massive, beautiful so I'm TV. I'm wondering why they would put teeth on it. So that it doesn't break all over the street. Okay, that's why. But that um, kind of ruined the idea of it being saveable too. Yeah. Because like, it would just have sticky stuff all over the screen. They used, the, they used that uh, genuine duct tape. I see stuff right here. Should we just walk? Yeah. These streets are paved. Paved with Oriental rocks. Right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not feeling those rocks. Are you? <laughs> feeling it either because like I one they're just too big like I can't just be unrolling that in the street and have to roll it back up and get all the their dust their skin particles what is this oh uh, I like this old mint green old mint green guy coffee machine What is this? Fondue set? Still in the box? <laughs> is it new is the question. Have you ever had fondue? Uh, yeah. Recently at that restaurant we went to. That one time. Oh, wow. I think it's brand new, right? It I mean, even this coffee maker's the same one we have, basically. Mm -hmm. This is a take and so is this chair. Okay. See this? I don't care. I'll just say I don't care for making fondue myself, but nah, it's, it's an easy, small, compact thing that's just score though. All right, let's roll. Right. This is an outside. Uh, that is an outside runner. I'm gonna bring this here. Throw it on the. Just real quick to see what it looks like. That's not bad, not actually. Big. Grab it. Let's do it. Score that and I'll get these. You want this chair? Oh yeah. Perfect. And then if you push this thing. I'm still too short. My arms aren't long enough. I tried though. When you're doing trash picking cleans like this, it does pay to have longer arms. Yes. You like this chair? Oh yeah. This is nice and light. It's aluminum. This is why. Good. Look 
look at this uh, dude it's so ruined but it's just so cool this is the dawn chair i don't i guess it got burned or something there and it smells terrible dude do you smell it uh, you, do you smell it from here though I'm just gonna get back in the car then. Lots of stuff out here. But most of it's not really worth uh, stopping for. See like right here is just a, I guess it's either a fan or a heater. It's a really cute house. But there's a big pile of stuff up here. Oh yeah. Oh, there's two big Like look at that couch. Nice moving blanket right there. Yeah, there was one in the on the side over there too. But it was literally the only thing. Alright, should we get out and check this one? Yeah, you could probably pull up in front of this big dog. There's like a lot of stuff, but it's just debatable whether it's even good. Headboard's cool, right? Yeah, very cool. Even just this big shelf right here is kind of a dream. You always got to think about what people buy, and they buy a lot of furniture. This is a solid fire poker set right there. This was probably a full bed, bunk bed. Yeah, it looks like a bunk bed. Traumatizing. Um, love seat couch. This thing right here is actually pretty decent. Although it's missing pieces, I yeah, guess, right? The they were violent about how they pulled this stuff out of here. No, it's... Headboards are super funky. They look like they uh, repainted it. Spray painted it, right? Can of spray paint to that one. Alarm clock. What is this? Broken lamp. I don't know what that is. Oh, you mean? No, no, I was saying this thing, but then I got, I got uh, sidetracked. A short tension span. This is like just a rack that you hang on the wall. Do you like that lamp? The only reason I like it is because the, it's a, uh, it's like clay or porcelain, right? It's clay, right? It's like ceramic, it's yeah. Ceramic. Oh. It's a nice but lamp, though. Printer, power cord though. Might be worth grabbing that. I'm gonna check this out and then I'm gonna get my fire pokers. See, this got flooded out too. It must have been so low to the ground wherever it was that it got wet. Just wondering what he put in the moving blanket. A headboard, huh? Yeah, but to what? You know? Ooh. Ooh. It's got it all wet. Oh, because it's coming apart. Yeah, it got Maybe like... Maybe because it got wet. Obviously, they got flooded in their garage or something, because look at the bottom of here. Yeah, the only thing that kind of sucks about this area and the area that we live in is just we're literally, like, on top of water most of the houses, so it's, like Turner was saying earlier, it's very wet and moist so although there is a lot of really good items in the trash a lot of them are uh ruined by mold and from getting wet so unless you want to bring that back to your house you have to just leave it no nah, you don't want to bring them and this might look like a modest neighborhood but like the smallest house right there is probably worth a million dollars that's that's the level of this town's value i'm gonna grab the fire pokers <clears throat> nothing special just a nice fire poker set cast iron base check out this bar stool what why would they get rid of that right 
these beach chairs are uh, decent for scrap as well. But is it broken or something? I gotta check this deeper. Oh, it's wobbly. Yeah. <laughs> it's ruined, I think, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's really cool, though. It is cool. It's a... It's a cool design. Thank you. That TV works, if it's of interest. Listen, brother. I don't want that. Tidy, heavy ass TV. But that was nice of him. Nah, it was nice. I mean, he could have been like, what are you doing? Get right. out of here. Why is this? This freaking water bog in here. Did you see something? Nah. -uh. What? Oh, it's ripped. Oh, for the babies. Look at this. This is the Christmas lot right here. Let's see what we got. Reindeer pillow, cool little handmade Christmas tray, a little bear. All-star chip bowl. That's kind of cool, actually. Some Christmas ornaments. That is cool. Look at this. Easter basket. Easter basket. Some kind of a dress. Box filled with books. Verizon Wireless. Essential pack. Yep. <laughs> kids box. A Snoopy flag. Brand new in the box. Snoopy. It's kind of cool. I know there's a lot of Snoopy collectors. This stuff's for like making those bracelets, right? Look, and these. Wait, let me see that. There's leather in there though. Yeah. Those are for um those bead things, right? You melt them. Yeah, I remember that. Glow in the dark. Super cool collection of different I stuff. I might there. just pass on the other stuff. And just get the yeah. the leather, right? Mm -hmm. I knew that too. I was looking at that. Cuz I could have put Paul's gift on the leather, yeah, but yeah. Wolf too, but he likes it on his uh his actual people use that stuff too but i USA. haven't seen it for a while nice and this is uh this is cool too. just be careful with this because that thing's really bent i gotta try and bend it again like this piece that holds it yeah, that's on the I truck it almost... yeah. all right so i don't really need a cage but these are always good to Sell. This one looks a little iffy. Wait, are they meat? Wait a second. Oh, they did what we did. No, this is no good. But I like to grab those for our neighbor's mom because she donates them to um, a cat organization. But that one's just sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Just wondering if this plate here. It's antique for sure. I don't know if I rubbed it off. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab it. Even though it's rusty. It's got like a floral design. Antique tray. Nothing special, but still cool. How are these wooden armchairs though? Are they even gold or am I just going to what is that little table too? Baby. It's just getting good, guys. These are super nice. 
Are they too, are they not that old though? Like I was thinking, are they? Are they old? No. Or no? Yeah, they must be. They're pretty nice though, dude. And solid. Yeah, it is. Yeah. These are some pretty solid uh, chairs. Deck chairs, I guess, I would call them. But there's a set of two and they look and feel solid. You know what? This one's ruined. You know mama's got to get a little something, something for herself. Because I can just wash these. This one's ruined though. It's broken. Look where it's nailed together. Right here? Yeah. So then grab your one. Or I can throw it in. Or do you think I should grab the two or no? No, if right? If you're trying to sell it, I would say save yourself the headache. Yeah. Because what? You're going to put it up for, even if you put it up for 40, they're going to get you down to 20. I mean, $20 is $20 if we had a warehouse and if we had space. No, you're right. They're just, but let's just move along and then we'll we'll take a mental going, note of this. Going, do you want the mess? They're actually... There is just, just such cool stuff out here. You want me to go out? But it's all ruined. I guess why it's in the trash. That makes sense. That's true because uh, when we've been passing piles, we don't have the camera on every time, but... We don't film them, one, because you can't just have hours of footage, but it's just wrecked. Like, I mean, I don't know what this thing is. I'm just pointing this, but this is why we stopped. Like, this chair is so cool, but it's not in mint condition. And, uh, I mean, I'm not really seeing any visible mold, but this coming off mm -mm. no thank you we got here so this isn't really a good pile but for the nostalgia the razor scoot although look what's under there what is that it's a beer sign i think this is like one of the first look at this thing. yeah look smeared off metal sign though that's worth you know, five bucks. Look, this is literally... It works. Yeah, but look, because like looking at it, yeah, it just looks like a regular scooter, but look. Don't want that to hit my shin. But here, you go on it. Why me? Because you have to feel it. It's so light and thin compared to the ones they make now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Showing me up on a Razor scooter. He said he scootered in his day. Hey, they threw out Mados. That, uh, yeah, that's kind of mean, right? Yeah, they're still alive. I guess they have to leave for the summer, so there's nothing they can do, right? You yeah, should I get one for Paul? Yeah, but it'd be dead this time of year anyway, right? I don't know. Fix that guy's haggard. Oh, no, it's good. There's to be a reason why they threw it out there. These ones too? I would take those if I knew the exact reason why they threw it out. But it could be a creepy reason. Basket? Tall box, big. This little basket, right? Little picnic basket. For now. Yeah, go put a gift in. What is this thing? Ugh. Okay. Oh, no. Wait. Are those for mosquitoes? Probably. Glasses case. I think we're close on that too. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is now really yeah, creepy that's that's that I'm doing right. this, but what? I've been needing these. Candles? Nah, right? Get them if you want. Not those ones, but 
the ones that are in the box. Possibly. So. For the uh, jack o' lanterns that we're going to make this year. Yeah. River's got to make one. Brand new bag of charbroil fire starters. Cherry wood chips for Robbie to start his fire up. Oh yeah. For his grill. Here's a bag too, but they're open. The reason I want these adhesives is because I put Rose Princess Bowl in her water bowl on the kitchen table. And I had a big like tablecloth on there, but she would she got into this habit of getting a nice like head start and she would run and just slide and it would take the lamp and everything that was on top of that uh on top of the table runner just right off the table so i took the table runner off but we'll uh see how these adhesives work because her grandma made her a table runner so i'll just put the adhesive under and see how that works i'll show you guys when we get home okay so we're now cresting into the actual really really rich area which actually the stuff that's out is few and far between but sometimes certain items that they put out are just pure gold like what is this guy putting out right now he's putting like an epic just... trunk he's just like putting it out he knows. should we go talk to him yeah. about it Let's do this. So this is how they get around here. He's just putting it out for us. Like, right in front of our faces. We'll just be like, we came by to see what you're putting out. Right? Wow, look at his van, it's cool as hell. This guy knows what he's doing in life. What is that? That's a VW. Yeah. Is it like a newer one? No, it's like a... Oh, he redid it. We did one. This is a nice paper towel rack. El Greco. El Greco. See what we want the, the pieces? Mm -hmm. Or no? They're kind of nice, right? Some glass pieces. Hi, puppy. How's this trunk though? He had to stop because uh, you were you were making these items look so enticing by the way you're putting them on. What goes in here? I don't know. Ask him. A sword? What's what it was this for? Oh, uh sable. What's that? The military sword. Military. Oh, but yeah, so you're right. There's also a glass plate sitting there if you want a glass plate sitting there. I'm thinking this. How cool is this trunk though? Or is it weird? I kind of like it. You can use this for the old, the very old stuff. Now I like to use these. We have cats. I like There's to. There's also a glass. There's a glass. A little tumbler. Did one someone that? Well, somebody just took it. It was oh, the little one right there. Oh no, this one. Did someone that you guys know make this trunk? Uh, I don't know. This is our whether our mother-in-law's house. Okay. And she was like a hundred years old and died a couple years ago, so we're just throwing out a lot of her antique stuff. This is pretty cool. Yeah, just take the if, if that's the case, you have to, to take everything else out of it and leave it in the street there. So. Where are the swords that went on that? What? Where are the swords that went on here? Oh, they were they sold. belonged to my husband. Oh yeah. So. That's cool. That is a cool. Scored some. Pyrex for your babies. Or just for like the neighborhood cats or like Big Mama. I don't know. The other stuff was cool, but it's just wrecked. Hard to sell. Oh, he's bringing out more, more stuff. Let's see. Oh, it. don't do it to us. He's bringing out. He's bringing out the oil paintings oh, now. You go Let's see it. Is that an oil? Is that a painting? Yeah, that's a painting uh, from 1955. That's a real painting. I'm not sure who the artist is. But... That's a masterpiece. <laughs> Look at that. 
Look at that piece right there, baby. Look at that score. No, we didn't just no, get that. This is so cool. All right. Now they're just bringing out the gold. This is my this is my pick of the day here. Yeah, that's right, so, baby. So pick of the day. Do you see? Let me see. I'm a farm. Oh, I thought you saw something. Sammy's asking this guy if we can grab that piece of plywood out of there. Obviously, he said, yeah. Grab that piece. Yeah. Look at that. That's a perfect piece. I got it. Super heavy. The only thing is, maybe. I'll open this first. Yeah. sound like it would be easy but actually The bird, they're everywhere. Look at this. All right, check this out. What do we got? Little table, TV. This is looks like a sail for a boat. Wakeboarding bindings. That's what it looks like, anyway. Just grab these. I don't really know what they are for exactly. But. What is that? It's gold is what it is. Oh my gosh. What are those? Doors? Yeah. Are you back or? Yo, what kind of doors are these? These are like doors perfectly made for my size because look, they're literally like five foot. They're windows, that's why. I'm gonna have to say get because even for the photo, like look at 
this. If you put this, yeah, if you had a very clean cut yard. What the heck? Wait. Oh, They're wooden. Uh, what was Robbie calling these? I would never remember that, but. Um, yeah, plantation blinds, I think is what their term is. They're just not old blinds. They're right? for their windows. Instead of having like uh, closing, opening. Dude, we gotta get these. Yeah. Can we fit them all? I might have to call it a day after you can go open that up. Alright, we know these these were crazy expensive to manufacture and we're just gonna bite the bullet and grab these out of the chance that we can sell them for a couple hundred. And if not, I don't know. Then we're stuck with them I guess. But we're Somebody going. Will buy these. these are specific, I feel like. I was just wondering how the hell do you install something like this? Like where's the You install something like this? Very professionally. Really? Because I don't see where they how they even took it off. Maybe we should use the runner to lay them on it. We can do that. Is that cool with you? Yeah, I don't care. This has that? a little bit of bird poopy on it. That's hell. What? Push that back in. I just push it out past it, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. So go around the side and just run it out. You want to pull this out? Alright, we got three of them. The rest are kind of broken, but we figured they're super unique for like a photo shoot or possibly a number of other things. So, moving on. This little fake tray. Smell check. Smell check it, dude. Smell check it. Me? Yeah. You know I have a very sensitive nose. Oh. It's kind of ready to go, dude. Yeah. He just needs some concrete to hold him up. The Ikea experience. This is Ikea. All yeah, right. When we were tripping out because like you get to the end and like they're claiming real plants at Ikea. You guys saw that video. It was my first time at Ikea but you get to the end after and then when we first walked in you're seeing all these fake plants but then at the end they have the the real ones and I was like are they real? Because they had like blue on them. And I was like so are they real or not? Couldn't tell. This one's fake. This one's, you can tell. Or is real. it real? It's fake. This is plastic. But they were saying the other <laughs> ones know, were okay. real and they look real, but then they have glue on them. Perfect. Little plant. All right, let's check this out. There's some reclaimed wood right there. Use that for a project. So, don't think we're going to want this, but. But we wanted to show you guys. This looks like the one that you got, the shelf. Damn, that's wrecked, but it was cool. It's just particle board though. To the point where I don't even oh. want to touch it, really. Nope. They were cool though. Yeah, All right, cool. let's bounce, not good. I think we got a good Looks haul today too. though. Oh yeah, that was so quick too. Those are the, tra these are the trash picking days that you live for because it's not just like, oh, there's one pile of trash in the whole town. Like, there was piles of trash. Whether they were good or bad, there was a plethora of them on every block, so. 
That's what you look for, but you never know. Unless you go. You never know what kind of oriental hand knotted rugs you're going to find. Unless you try. That one's pretty ruined, but. Yeah, your mom, I think, paid for them, right? I was going to say, I hope she did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She did already. That's your mom, right? Yeah, she Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Sold. All right, we went on a pretty heavy trash picking mission today, and we got a whole truckload of different stuff. Um, there was a lot on the streets. A lot of it was ruined and well we got a pretty good amount of stuff but it's always fun to see what's out there and what treasure you can find literally just on the roadside for free but i wanted to say last night we went out on a mission in a different town also a pretty wealthy town and we found a couple sets of different things and we just sold a set today already within less than a day so I wanted to show you guys the footage from last night of us trash picking um, so let's see it right now see what we found last night go do you like my camera setup for the trash picking mission yes I like it <laughs> we came for your trash <laughs> here yeah. I'll show up this is the setup that I configured for tonight's mission it is nice though, because if it drops, then... It's got a cage, plus the light, and then I can extend them. Like, look, I can extend it. Bam, look at that setup. That's so fire. Put, put. All right, shall we go? Yeah, this guy. See, yeah. I'm not lying, it's right. He doesn't like that. All right, let's roll. All right, this light is so bright. It's but bright. What's up, everybody? So, we are continuing the trash picking extravaganzas that we've been going on all summer long. Um, we haven't kept up with them every week like we planned on, but we have found some really incredible stuff this summer, mostly all over on the islands in the beach towns. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to cruise over to Longport, one of the richest beach towns in the area, and see what we can find uh, in the roadside garbage. So, every time we go, it's like a treasure hunt. So, let's see what we can find tonight. Found that hair tie. What do you, what do you think we're going to find tonight? I'm hoping gold, but you never know. Unless. You go. So we're going. Hopefully we find good stuff. But, you know. We can check it out, I guess. Right? All right, so we just came up on our first something we don't know exactly what they are chairs well we know they're chairs but we don't know what kind all right i'm going to pull up over here and then we'll go over so they're some kind of wooden chairs like from a dining room set all right so here we are we're in the town this is one of our favorite places to trash pick. Um, some really nice houses here. People with a decent amount of money. Alright, so these are some like country living style antique looking chairs. I'm thinking because there's four in decent shape, they might just be $50 sale, right? At least? 
if you get all four. That's one, that's fine, right? This is the table. I don't know what that is. There's a piece of something that somebody... That's something to do with it. And then... They already had been painted anyway, so painting them again wouldn't ruin them more than they already were. A little bit. I thought the fudge that was on the top was like no, painted it's... on there, but that's actual fudge. No, that's just... <laughs> I mean, they're a little bit creepy, but obviously the person would have to redo them if they're gonna get that that get crazy with it. I'd say take them. Yeah, somebody else. Because if Slip they wanted to repaint for... it themselves, anybody who's buying these would probably probably be like redoing them for sure. All right, let's get these over there. Again. Why? You touch the fudge. I touched. Should the I fudge. get this too? No. You just add it in or no? Um, because what if it's like to it something somehow? It's, it couldn't be, right? I mean, you're cool. I mean, I could easily just throw it in with them. Be like this little Perfect. table piece, I don't know. All right, so first score of the day, four antique wood chairs. Estimated value, honestly, only $50. And that's even pushing it. It's kind of crazy to say, but check this out. Check this out. Oh, you put it on. Hallelujah. Right? Oh, very nice. Thank very you. nice. Very nice. I mean, that helps put both of us out, so. So much easier with it. Yeah, because you don't have the anxiety of that, like, piece of wood flying out and hitting you in the head and the window. Right, just hop in here if you want. About to load these. How are those chairs? Pretty good score. Yes. I mean, I didn't stack them that well, but... Trash to cash that, baby. Yeah, good. Score. <laughs> What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? This chair. It's a little bit of scrap right here, but not, nothing of substance, really. So, these would be good, though, to pull down for, like, a, a backdrop or something. They look kind of dirty. I have used that though for a backdrop for eBay. Like to post clothes on, even. We hung one down the wall before. All right, we just passed some bar stools. No, they're not bar stools. They were just chairs. They looked like wicker, maybe. But we gotta go check them out to see for sure. It's really hard to see. Um, there aren't really any like street lights in this town. It except for the people's houses who have lights, so it kind of lights up the street, but not good enough for these eyes to see from afar. That's all cardboard, right? Yeah. Just all cardboard. All boxy does. Oh, and a box spring, is that what that is? No, it's just a big box. Oh. All right, so we passed them. They look like chairs or something, but we're gonna get back. They say free on them with a little letter. All right, this is a good time. This is a, the best day of the week to trash pick because it's Sunday and a lot of places have trash pickup on Monday. So that was a question that we got a lot. What day is the best day? Where we live, Sunday night. Oh, so they are a little bit higher, kind of like a medium bar stool. Wow. Interesting. Other the than this, would want these. other than this, these are fire. Oh, these are sick. Yeah. They're not comfy, but... Easy money, though. For a... Oh, my gosh. For a bar setup that someone has? Like a bar. Yeah. A bar stool? Is that low, though? Well, for, like, a counter. That's what they were at. 
Yeah, these are nice. Yeah, these are cool. These are nice. These are good. Yeah. For sure, right? Yeah. I can hold that in my pocket. Yeah, and I'll get the other two. Oh. Look at this. Are you seeing this? Full blown treasure chest in the trash. Oh, what? No way. Treasure chest filled with different stuff. Look at this. No. Pika. Pikachu. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Pikachu, baby. That's cool. What's what that is for? that thing? Mm -hmm. I guess it's for tea, right? Pikachu? Score. Those are cool. That's cool. Is that a brass bow tie or something? Oh, it's brass. Brass, yeah, or bronze, maybe. And this is like an antique tray. It's obviously broken, but that thing's so cool. Those are cool, whatever they are, right? Really cool. I'm not a big trunk guy, but somebody would want that. All right, we made it back home. Uh, we just wanted to go and hit that little town over. It's basically right over the bridge from where we live because we know that trash day comes bright and early tomorrow morning. Um, but we are going to go on another mission tomorrow to another town that's even richer. And we found even better stuff. And we're going to include that in this video. That's probably where the video starts. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what we just got real quick tonight. Um, we were out for not long at all. Probably about 30 minutes, really, in the street. So we got the four wooden chairs, the originals, the four metal chairs. And then just I picked up only just these two brass pieces. But... I would say somewhere around a hundred dollars worth of stuff, uh, which isn't bad. It's just about getting it out of here, taking pictures, and getting it listed up online. But we will see you guys tomorrow for some more picking. Uh, get back to the original video. So check this out. These are swords that I had. I call them pirate swords from a clean out we did a couple years ago. And then this is the sword holder that we just got today. They don't fit very well in it. But it's still really cool to display them like that. So I had brought this up before as well that both my wife and myself suffer from severe anxiety. Hers is probably worse, honestly. Uh, and stuff like trash picking, going to flea markets, going to yard sales. But trash picking for sure provides some kind of release from everything that's going on in the world because you're just so focused on going out and finding cool stuff and just getting excited about it. You're just driving down each street with this excitement in your stomach of what you could actually find. So if you've never tried it before and you always wanted to go or if you've never even thought about it and still watching videos of, of other people trash picking, I think that what I would suggest 
is to go for it. It's a really, really fun time if you can go with your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or your daughter or your mom or anyone, uh, go for it. It does provide just such an epic release from everything that's going on in the world. Sounds crazy, but try it, you'll see. But that's the video for today. I hope you guys liked it, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone. And this is Whitey Ford. He's a stray in the neighborhood, but he likes to hang out in our yard all the time.